Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a Quick Tips video. In this video, we're talking about frame adjusting keyframe shapes. By clicking on an individual keyframe in the Confect Editor, you can change the parameters for each individual frame. Options are timing, use the start time slider to drag the step positions in the window, frame min slash frame, frame A min slash frame B max, so that's how close the attribute gets to the program value. For example, you received a dimmer flash at 100%, you make it only flash to 80%. Midpoint, so that's where the midpoint of the fade is. Width, so that's how much of the frame time is taken up by the fade. For example, you can fade in 20% of the frame time, which then hold for the remaining 80%. So let's take a look at that. Here I'm on version 15.1 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface and I'm just going to make a quick flyout to see uh, how to do this uh, more in depth. See our video on the classic flyout, link in the description. And we'll go ahead and add capture up on the screen uh, so we can see it also. So here we've got a classic flyout going on. So if I was to click on one of my individual frames here, say we'll do it on our dimmer, where it comes up, I then adjust its start time, have our dimmer come on earlier, or have it come on later. Of course, I can also type the values in if I wanted to. I can adjust the minimum, so I can take it to where it doesn't you can also adjust the max, so you have a set of going up to 100, it only fades up to, oh, say, 30%, or 15. If I was adjust our frame A, I could have it, uh, instead of fading all the way out, it only fades to, oh, 17% or so, or take it all the way back, let it fade all the way in. You can also adjust the midpoint. Again, adjusting where it comes in, or select our layer here and adjust it here. Have it on for part of it and off earlier. You can also adjust the width, so you say we have it uh, here and adjust our midpoint. We can control how it fades in and then back out. We we'll also, of course, do this with our movement. Just how it starts there, or start it later. Or just our midpoint. And look about what this width for how it fades. We could also add in more frames to get different effects. So add another layer, make it our quick build, and we'll add in some colors real quick here. So you see how it progresses through our colors. So say if we take our first frame here, and we set its start time to be here instead. You see how we get all of our colors to do here. Also change these all to snaps if we want. So we use our mid times to adjust how our colors come in. If you want it to stay longer on this color, you can adjust it like that. Or longer on this one. So that is how to use frame adjustment in keyframe shapes. So it can adjust how your keyframe shape progresses in through the frame and it allows you to get 
uh, different effects quickly. I hope you learned something. Please join us on Facebook at Able Arts US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Wheel stop. Roger. Wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.